Welcome Freedom Hero. In this episode you will find out about how to build your team easily. I will walk you through the top 7 tips for building your marketing team that will help you to grow your business efficiently. My name is Istvan Bujrasho and this is the 47 Marketing Show that reveals smart tips and efficiency hacks for busy entrepreneurs to get more marketing done in less time. One of the biggest business mistakes that a lot of solo entrepreneurs make is believing that delegating is risky, finding great people is hard, and because of that they try to do everything themselves, but they seem to always run out of time and energy and their business can't grow as fast as they want it to. Does this sound familiar to you? The truth is that it's a lot easier to come over that issue than it seems. For the past 8 years I've been outsourcing quite a few things including a lot of marketing activities. In that time I had my fair share of bad and good experiences and along the way I have worked out a proven method to successfully build and manage your own team who can save you a lot of time and money and help you to grow your business efficiently. In a moment we will start going through the top 7 tips for building your team and right after that I will share with you something special related to team building so make sure you stay till the end. And now here is tip number 1. Be really clear about your expectations. This means things like what results you expect from your team, how and when, what do you expect them to do, how and when, why you want to hire them and so on. If you are not clear about your expectations, the bigger the chance you will face unexpected situations and you will be disappointed. So be really clear about, clear about your expectations, create a list of them. Tip number two, communicate your expectations clearly. Knowing your expectations is one thing, communicating that your team clearly is another. Explain tasks and requirements and other things as simple as possible. It helps to avoid misunderstandings. Describing visual things in words is a lot more complex and difficult than showing them and can lead to mistakes. So always share, your, share visual things with your team through shorts and simple videos or screenshots. We are all humans. From time to time we can forget things to minimize the negative effects of that on your marketing and business. Have every important process in written format or in videos and in an organized way so your team can find what they need anytime without bothering you. Tip number three, only hire through reliable source. For example, from Upwork, which is a well-known and reputable freelance portal. It acts like a middleman connecting entrepreneurs with freelancers. It also provides information or, and, easy, and an easy to use platform for providing and managing your outsourced team including features like finding the right freelancers, super easily taking care of the contract, time tracking, payment processing and a lot more. And most importantly, besides the efficiency and convenience, it gives a great level of safety to you with features like the airscrew which works this way. Before the job starts, you pay the agreed amount for the work into the escrow. So your money is in a safe place with Upwork. The freelancer does the work and you only release the money from the escrow to the freelancer once the job is complete. This way you are protected from the freelancer disappearing with your money without doing the work. Another great safety feature is the platform creates screenshots and logs on what the freelancer is doing while working on your on an hourly basis. So you can kind of look over their shoulder and check if they are truly and actively working on your tasks. Tip number four, pre-qualify freelancers before you even talk to them. Another benefit of Upwork is that they provide all the useful information you for you to pre-qualify people. Check out things like how many hours did they work through that portal. Uh, if they have already worked a lot of hours, that shows that they are more serious about freelancing. 
check what kind of reviews do they have. If their previous clients were happy with their work, the more likely they will do a good job for you too. Also have a look at if they have done similar work previously to the one that you have in mind. If yes, they are more likely to work faster and better. See what's the quality of that profile overall. An organized and well-written profile increases the chance they will provide quality work. Then check what's the quality of their portfolio. A high quality portfolio means they will probably give you high quality work as well. And the last thing to check is how much do they charge? Is that matching with your expectations? And is that below the average fee of other similar freelancers? I do not recommend you to pick somebody with below average uh, pricing because usually it means they will provide below average quality work as well. Tip number five, talk to the best candidates. This is not about finding out how good they will work. It's more about how well they communicate and how the two of you are resonating in general. Ask the candidates to tell you about the project in their own words so you can see how well they understand your expectations. Look out if they are asking any questions at all and good questions. If they don't ask any good questions, it means they either don't care or they are afraid to ask. Either of those is true. That means they, they most likely will assume things instead of clearly understanding your expectations and you probably won't always get what you want. Tip number six, hire your choice of freelancer for a small job first. Even if you follow every tip you heard so far in this episode, there is still a chance they won't be the right team members. The best way to test the freelancer is to get them to complete a small, real and relevant job. That way you can truly see if they can deliver the, re the agreed results and how it feels working with them. Tip number seven, start small and scale up step by step. The benefit of working with freelancers is that you don't have to hire them full time. If you only need one hour help uh, a week, then you can hire the freelancer for that. This way you can get started with minimal investments, gain momentum quickly and start getting used to delegating without feeling overwhelmed. Then step by step, you can smoothly scale up by giving your freelancers more marketing and other work and by extending your team with other members. Earlier, I mentioned I would share with you something special related to team building to help your marketing and business efficiency. And that is on top of these seven tips, you will find out about 12 more team building tips in the next two episodes. Let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is from this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, smash the like button. It helps the channel a bit. And make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you get notified of the future videos just like this one.